So as you might have read in the title of this video, I have a problem with my car. And the problem? Well, let me paint you a picture. So I'm out cruising my Subaru and everything feels good. Wait, let's make this a bit more realistic. And while I'm out driving, I can hear this winding sound coming from the drive line somewhere. So the first thing I did was just pulled over and checked the transmission fluid. I pulled out the dipstick, found that that was perfect. I then got back in the car. But on the way home, I noticed there was this kangaroo feeling on the car. It felt jumpy, like something was moving. So I got home and jacked up the car. And while I was under the car, going to check the differential fluid, I noticed that the bushings were really bad. As you can see, the metal sleeve or the inner sleeve has started to come loose. The rubber is all cracked and one of them has even tried to move a bit or isn't sitting where it's supposed to be. And yeah, it didn't look like this coming off the car. It looked a bit more like this. Man, I love sandblasting. So I jumped online and started looking for bushings. That soon led me down the path of polyurethane. Everywhere I read about polyurethane. You need polyurethane. It was just, uh, just polyurethane. But then I remembered... Polyurethane? Wait a minute. We do a lot of 3D printing at work and one of the filaments there is called TPU. So you may ask yourself, what is TPU? Well, it stands for thermoplastic polyurethane, which means it's in family with polyurethane. So I went online again and did a bunch of research, as you could see in this montage. It's not a montage, actually. But then I came across this guy on Reddit. And to my great surprise, this guy had done it. He had 3D printed bushings in TPU for his Volvo 244. And it doesn't stop there. They have held up great for five years. They are sway bar bushings. So the only thing he note noted was that add some grooves for grease because they squeak a lot. So next to do is to push out this using the press. Then we can get some dimensions. And here they are, the final bushings. A bit stringing to clean up, but they turned out great. This is the first one I printed. So this one is a bit loose. Yeah, but these are the new one and they fit, barely fit, which is Perfect. Just a rubber mallet and they will go in place. Also, the inner diameter, diameter is perfect, so I can get them on. Whew. Nice! Now the job is to get this metal sleeve out of the bushing, so I can reuse that thing. And we need to change the color on this, or we need to add some paint. And if you've seen any of my Super Dusty videos, you know that this is going to be powder coated. Let's go.
just look good. Boom. Nice. Use just a tiny dab of silicon grease to get it. See? Check it out in the sun so you can see. So we'll just push in these and then we can install it back on the copper. Spending. Spending. Way too much time on unimportant stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, how did it go? Well, the bushings are on the car, and I have to say, they feel great. The car feels more planted, no more skipping, and no more of that kangaroo feeling. It just, it just works. And I actually can't believe it, but yeah, it seems to work. So the scale of hardness that polyurethane is measured in is called Shure, Shure I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the filament I used was 95A, which is pretty hard, much harder than your regular polyurethane bushings. So that's something to consider. I mean, it does feel very stiff, but uh, since the rest of the bushings is softer, it compensates, I guess. It, feel, it feels good, but uh, yeah. Then over to the next part, I wouldn't recommend anybody doing this. This is just my curiosity, wanting to try if this works, but I have no facts, I have no... I have nothing other than just it works on my car, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. So, I even made a jingle about it. Don't do what I do, cause I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, don't do what I do, cause why? I'll keep you posted on how the bushing holds up after some use. I don't think this is the future of bushing production, but I mean, if you're, if you're at the track, if there's a race weekend, something like that, and your bushing goes south, you could in theory just bring your printer, print new bushing, and be back on track. But yeah, enough about that, thanks for watching.